30 long. Well, that was the best running forehand graphs hit this set. A little bit slow into her matches this fortnight, looking a little brittle on the wide ball there. The kind of stuff that separated her from Hingis in the end. Graf strong against Hingis. A little bit of luck separating her from Hingis as well. But uh, the power still winning for this champion. Superb serving from Steffi Graf, 78% so far in this first set. And that's really uh, keeping Seles under wraps at the moment. Seles now will serve to stay in this first set, 3-5. 15 line. And a good 15 miles an hour faster than the first serve Seles used to beat Martinez. Inside the line. She knew it. Esther Selish and Monica's father to her left. And sometimes an extra hand helps on the racket, but Monica, with such racket ability, she probably could hit it with the wrong side. Still have good touch. serve. Graf snatching at that lack of pace. Serve ace for Seles gives her the hold. But Graf now will be serving for the first set. Graf leads 5 4. So now, Steffi Graf has been holding her service games relatively easily so far in this set. Serve for a one set to love lead and it's the accuracy of her serving that's got her into this position no break points faced yet thank you
love of team. Thank you. Why please? Love 30. There's a real chance right now for Sellers. Thank you. Four five down. Love 30 graph. Steffi's first serve allowing her to dictate in this point needs another first serve because in the rally it's been abuse both ways. Steffi's mother. First serves in a row from Steffi from Love 30. And she has the first set point. Murderous, but uh, Sellers really must try to shorten her backswing on first serve returns because it's a different affair. To break point down, Graf. Sellers just starting to finally do a bit of pushing around herself. play from Sellers on the break point. Graf looking slightly exasperated, but really she didn't do anything wrong there. No, it wasn't wrong, but Monica had been burned early in the set, and the old Monica that anticipates so early and manipulates the racket so well. Prue McMillan is right to worship this lady's two-handed technique. Complete racket control on the stretch does she have when she's in full flow. Mark McCormick next to the Sellishes. 
You can bet IMG's a loyalties on this one. Well, it was Graf who had Selish scrambling wide to the forehand in the previous game's first point. Watershed since then. Great stuff. Nobody allowed to go to the well too often on their winning plays. Now then, Steffi Graf hitting back. And prospering with a softer serve closer to the graph body allowed Selish to get into the rally far better than the previous deuce court point. It's good. <laughs> Selish under pressure, just playing with such abandon here, just going for it. And invariably, it's working. Great depth. Graph, blonde hair and dark glasses applauding this forehand run. and as the point lengthens it's the footwork that tells Selish has been getting the early punches more and more later in this set but it's Graf with yet another break point thank you for six. one for six Graf Dear, <laughs> no doing of her own, Chris. Well, it's getting quite dark here on stadium. From nowhere, there's a lot of black, angry clouds floating around. Well, Monica had been pinning Graf deep to Graf's strength. There burned because she didn't hit the ball quite as hard. Just going for too much, Celes, and Graf breaks on her fourth break point. 
She'll serve for the first set again at 6-5. Out now on PCCD Run. Well, this match really starting to boil right now. In four or five in the first, the last couple of games have been top quality. You could almost argue that one point per game was lost because the players didn't quite go for their shots, and that made the decisive difference in both breaks of serve. Thank you. Steffi Graf will serve for the second time for the first set. Important, I think, for her now to at least get the first point on the board. Well, that arrow coming from the strength of Sellers has got to make Monica think just a touch. Taking her chances, Monica, not even knowing how she'd fare. Courage. And again, the first serve in for Graf. Gives uh, two set points. How often we've seen that. Monica changing the game of women's tennis with that return of serve. Game of first set wrong. Yeah, it's the first serve that does the telling blow. And Graf tucks away the first set 7-5. Monica will want to take her time. Yeah. First Love to see. I think back to uh, Australia in 1993, the final down there. Sellers dropped the first set then, but came back and won the next two, 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, so she's capable of coming from behind against Steffi. <laughs> scant approval she did for, from Gunther Parsh for doing so. Lots happened since.
15.30. Gunter Parsh, of course, the gentleman that stabbed Monica in the back in Hamburg in 93. Steffi concentrating on taking the return very early, not to give Selish a lot of time to set up for the second ball. He's done well with that. Not needing to apply any power. Graf at her best when she uses her strength to deflect power on the backhand side. Selish needs to be fitter. She can then get across that volley. The ideal start for Steffi Graf in this second set. She breaks. She leaves by set and one love. So Steffi Graf really uh, in control now with a set and a break. And the way she's been serving, Sellers is going to have to come up with something special like she did when Graf served for the first set at 5 4. Yes, and Monica disappointed for sure to have lost that, Thank her you, serve at 5 all. Probably the residual effects from that lost opportunity, just dropping her first serve, service game in this set. Perhaps that kind of ragged game we just saw, a product of a lack of fitness. I really harp on the subject, but it's a lost opportunity seems so much greater. Fifth ace, Steffi. Make that six. Monica missing the second serve return in the first point seemed to free Steffi up a bit. Second in the match. Game game. Some game from Steffi Graf. Three aces there and a double fault. And Sellers didn't even touch the ball. It's a little bit flat footed, but also Graf showing as great precision as ever. This is a part of Monica Selish. We've seen a little bit this year, but never in a Grand Slam final before. The human part. time Monica's really cranked up her serve.
30 yeah. seconds. That's the perils of cranking up your serve. You better be ready for the returner. Reply with interest. some heart sellers still in trouble one two still quite dark here on stadium touching by the, the way the flags are flying at the top Thank you. It, it's going away from us which is good Ready news Steffi, 2-1 with the break, second set. Celez, for me, has got...